but I do. I, I like living on my own. Does anybody else live on their own? Give us a wave if you live on your own. We've got, we've got a nice lady here. What's your favourite thing about living on your own, love? The telephone. The telephone. I like that you did that. <laughs> just in case, I, you know, it's just the north I live in. It's not, you know, <laughs> the dark ages. <laughs> The telephone. What do you, what, did somebody not let you have a telephone in the old days when you lived with other people, you poor bugger? Did you live under the stairs? <laughs> in what way the telephone? So I can speak to people, she said. <laughs> no, I know what a telephone's for, love. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? <laughs> Who else lived on the own? Give us another wave. Hello, flower. Nice lovely lady at the back there. What do you like about living on your own, love? Walking around naked. Walking around naked. He's a confident woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good, because I've got a friend who lives on her own. I said, what's your favourite thing about living on your own? She said, whenever I do a massive fart, <laughs> I go, good girl. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> Lady at the back, uh, is it a flat or a house that you've got? Flat. A flat. And if somebody broke into your flat while you were in it, what would you hit them with? Have you thought this through? Not so much. No, no, well, let's have a think now. If you're like, <laughs> we've got a fixer. If you're like in the living room, for example, is there something to hand that you could clobber somebody with? A remote control, you see. <laughs> Multi-purpose, I can watch whatever tell you like and I can fucking hit somebody. <laughs> no, because I asked a lady recently and she didn't know either and I said, what's normally to hand? And she went, empty bottles? <laughs> so I don't even think you'd notice if somebody broke in. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Shut the door on your way out. <laughs> so I can feel a fucking draft. My friend's got a rounders bat down the side of her bed. Uh, I mean, for protection. Oh. Um, <laughs> but she's been told by a policeman that that's not allowed. It's classed as an offensive weapon. The only way she's allowed to have a rounders bat down the side of her bed is if it's accompanied by something it would normally accompany. So now she's got a rounders bat and a rounders ball as well. <laughs> and I'm the same, because I've got a massive knife and a massive fork. <laughs> So if somebody breaks in with a big lump of steak, I'm champion. <laughs> but I would like to talk to you guys to see if anybody in this beautiful room of glorious people would like to shout out something that you did in what I'm calling a moment of madness in the last few years. We'll section you off to make it slightly easier. Let me give you an example. There was a man a few months ago, I said, what did you do in a moment of madness in the last few years? He said he'd bought a butter churn. <laughs> and I love the sheer panic he clearly had. What if we run out of butter? <laughs> I asked him how many times he'd used it. He said, just the once, because it turns out it makes a fuckload of butter. <laughs> I think the easiest way to talk to you guys is in the sections you're sort of already in. So we'll start at the top, we'll work our way down the room. So that lovely upstairs section. Anybody in that upstairs section want to shout out something you did in a moment of madness in the last few years? Anybody want to start us off? I got engaged. OK, we'll come back to this one. Hold. Well, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> Quite a lot to unpack. <laughs> Lady over here, shout out again. Had a baby. You had a baby. Is it your first baby? Yeah. Yeah. Is it also your last baby? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else answered. That's my aunt. It's who? My aunt. <laughs> your aunt. Is your aunt? Did your aunt do a lot of babysitting by any chance? <laughs> Indeed, she lives up the road. She lives up the road. Who moved into the street first, though? I did. <laughs> She's proper arsey, isn't she? I love it. And then she was like, I'm pregnant. I'm going to move in near my aunt. <laughs> this is genius. Uh, what did you have, a girl or a boy? Baby boy. Baby boy. Never mind. You can try again for the proper ones. Um, <laughs> oh, it's fine. Girls are better. It's just a fact. Did you have your baby during the time when it was really scary in the hospitals, my love? It's always scary having a baby. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I've had some terrifying shits in my time. You <laughs> really have. I had one once while we're sharing. <laughs> where I felt like it was kind of like giving birth because there was a really wide bit of 
of it. And I was like, oh, we've got the shoulders past, we're all right. <laughs> but I appreciate it is always scary. Round of applause for the lady with the new baby. <laughs> Lovely. But I found recently that I'm not very good at relaxing. I'm get, I, I get quite wound up. I'm on the go all the time. I'm a bit of a workaholic, to be honest. And uh, when I get in from, from work, wherever I've been, I'm rubbish at that winding down bit before you go to bed. I'm quite interested now whether people relax. A uh, nice fella in the front. Hello, fella. How do you relax when you get in from wherever you spend your days? Is something that you always do to help you wind down? Probably sit down, watch TV. Yeah, you sit down. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> Just sit down. Oh, I'm relaxed. And you watch a bit of telly. What time do you normally put the telly on? About six. About six. You see, anything from six on, it's quite good for a few hours, isn't it? Quite good telly then. When I get in from work, it could be anything from midnight to four in the morning. So unless I've remembered to record something, I'm stuck with fucking Babe Station. <laughs> babe Station. If you don't know what Babe Station is, it's a soft porn channel where on the screen is a relatively uneducated lady. <laughs> I'm guessing... And, uh, and she's, she's on the phone, uh, and across the bottom of the screen is a telephone number that you can ring, presumably to talk to her for sexual reasons. Although I don't think there are any rules that say you can't ring her up and chuck her a couple of sums and see how she gets on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably just give her career's advice, because I used to work for the job centre. I'd be like, oh, you're very good on the phone, so you could work for Orange Days to people ringing up and moaning. <laughs> So we've got a bit of telly watching from the fella at the front. Thank you very much. What about nice fella there in the nice blue shirt? What, what would you do to relax? Take the dog for a walk. You take the dog for a walk. So is it the exercise or the fresh air or a combination of the two? Fresh air in London, yeah. It's the fresh air in London. Oh, yes, I forgot. Do you have, have to wear a little mask? Do you? <laughs> no. Do you just go under a certain level and then you're all right? What time do you go walking with a dog? Is it tea time? Uh, four o'clock. Tea time. Three o'clock. It's the specifics aren't that important. Though. <laughs> we'll come back to me in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, three o'clock in the so that's afternoon. Because I, I used to go like years ago. I used to go running. I know. Fuck off. It's hard to believe. Uh, <laughs> didn't last very long. But I used to go. Well, I used to go running around the park, but really early on because there's a time. There's a window that you can go because it has to be before everybody gets up to go to work because they're the people that point and laugh. But after the dog walkers, because they're always the ones that find the bodies, aren't they? <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's always that. It's always... Oh, found by a dog walker. <laughs> Thank fuck I went out after them. <laughs> so we've got a bit of walking the dog. What else do we do to relax? Let's have people shouting out. Self-gratification. <clears throat> <laughs> OK, do you just tell yourself you're brilliant or do you have a wank? <laughs> And have we got anybody in who's done anything really risky? Anybody's done a bungee jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah fella, there's done a hello flower. How many bungee jumps have you done? One. <laughs> What's the reason you've only done one? You were drunk. <laughs> you were drunk when you did a bungee jump? How was that even allowed? In Gran Canaria. Oh, you do that like, oh, it's Gran Canaria. <laughs> Everybody's pissed there, man. There was a fellow the other day who'd only done the one, and I said, what's the reason you've only done one? Thinking it might be because, you know, it's expensive, maybe that was it. And he went, no, no, it's because I shot myself. <laughs> and then the next night I had a lady who'd only done one, and I thought, I better know the answer to this question. She said, no, I didn't shit myself. She said, I did do a fanny fart all the way down. <laughs> So I had an incredibly cautious lady in the audience recently sitting right in the middle in the front row and she said, oh, I'm a, I'm a dodgem. And I said, example. And she said, do you check under your bed? <laughs> I said, no, because I'm not fucking seven. <laughs> she said she'd seen an episode of CSI. Oh, yeah, it's all based on fact. <laughs> she'd seen an episode of CSI with the murderer hidden from his victim by hiding underneath the bed. And not in a normal way, but actually clinging to the underside of the bed. And I said, so you were worried about finding a man under your bed? And she went, yeah. And I said, and what would you have done if you had found a man under your bed? She said, I've got no idea, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> and we had somebody else upstairs. Do you want to shout out again? Uh, a lightsaber. It was a uh, nerd sort of impulse buy. A nerd impulse buy. Now you've got your reasons already ready, haven't you? Just why don't you think you think I would think it was a bad thing? It's 
sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> now, it's not a real one, though. No, no. 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 So what, what happens when you press... It can't shoot out, but what... <laughs> Stop it. Somebody's laughing over there, behind there. It's, uh, it's, what? Three, it's 3D printed. <laughs> It's 3D printed. <laughs> no offence, mate, but it sounds shit. <laughs> Does it turn on, then? I don't really understand anything about 3D printers. Does it turn on? It's more of a display piece. More of a display piece? <laughs> We're picturing your flat now, aren't we? <laughs> have, have you got anything else on display? Um, I don't know. Ask her. <laughs> Ask her? I mean, we're all surprised you've got a girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, I can't see it. It might be his mum. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> I love that you bought yourself a lightsaber. Well fucking done. Round of applause for this Star Wars fan. Good work upstairs. Middle section. Anybody want to shout at something you did in a moment of madness? Got a hot tub. Oh, so you have the confidence. A couple of people upstairs, all of a sudden, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> There's somebody over here. Shout it again. Got a hot tub. You got a hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Uh, so, how many people does it sit? Four. Four. You know that, don't you? As well, you've had <laughs> friends round. <laughs> oh no, just the neighbours. <laughs> I got it from milk. I went into milk. For Lidl? <laughs> they come in for milk, go home with, you know, somewhere to have sex with your neighbours. <laughs> Is this your partner? Single. You're single. <laughs> He's definitely had people in that hot tub, hasn't he? <laughs> Did you sometimes sit in it on your own? Do you know what all my friends get in it? I don't. I <laughs> mm. <laughs> don't believe him, do we? No. I've got a, I've got a question for you. I don't know, I genuinely don't know the answer to this. Um, <sighs> in a hot tub, maybe everybody else can answer. I suspect you know, but maybe other people know as well. In a hot tub, does jizz like mix in? <laughs> I don't know. Does it mix in, or does it go like stringy, like uh, goldfish poos? You know, like go in with a little like a tiddly net and just try and catch it. As you would say, it gets claggy. <laughs> it gets claggy. I love that you know, and you're acknowledging that you know. Well, I hope you meet somebody very soon you can sit in your hot tub with. Round of applause for the lovely fella. Thank you. Anybody else in the middle section? Shout out to me, you did in a moment of madness. Hello, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Are we just having a chat, or have you got an answer to the fucking question, Flower? No, what? Uh, no, every day during lockdown, I tried to have a two pound poo. <laughs> every day during lockdown, you tried to have a two pound poo. What I want to know is who was paying you, Flower? <laughs> are you weighing them? Are you photographing them? No, I just stand there naked, weigh myself. Oh, no, no, you really mean it. <laughs> you understand, you all got that, didn't you, from him? That he would wear himself naked, do a shit, <laughs> wear himself naked again. <laughs> Did you have a chart on the kitchen wall? <laughs> Get a little star, a little brown star. Was it a brown star? <laughs> brown star stickers are quite hard to come by. Is this your wife beside you who looks appalled? <laughs> Over here? Very this... interesting. Say that again. This is Ruth. She loved me telling her every morning that I failed. <laughs> you can't all see her, but she's like this. <laughs> I married but... her two weeks ago. You married her two weeks ago? No, I managed a two pound poo. Oh, you managed a two pound <laughs> They were definitely men. <laughs> They're like, 
got a new project. I've got a new project. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations on your new hobby flower. Round of applause for the poo <laughs> Have we got single people in tonight? Give us a woo if you're single. <laughs> we got couples in? <laughs> More of you, but not as enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple at the front. How long have you two been together? 30 years. 30 years? Well, some places that would have got a round of applause. <laughs> Everybody just went, fucking hell. <laughs> it was just a lovely noise, like a, oh. <laughs> Can we see if we could do it again? I've never heard three and a half thousand people do that noise. See if we can do it after three. One, two, three. <laughs> mm. 30 years well done and we've got quite you're quite a new couple how long have you two been together four months four months oh. <laughs> oh. are you clapping that one <laughs> well done four months 30 years fuck you I've been with my fella for six years, and it's gone really well. A friend of mine, though, recently fell in love, even more recently than you two. She, they'd, they've been together about a month, and they're adorable. She'd been single for a couple of years, so that means that little bit more to her, you know. And they're so, they're so lovely, they're so adorable, like, to watch, you know. Uh, no, I mean, no, no. I mean when I'm with them. I don't mean like this. She shouldn't have bedroom curtains, what a slag. <laughs> but she said to me that whenever she sees him, she gets sweaty palms. Isn't that lovely? It's adorable, isn't it? Four months together, what other signs of love do you think there are apart from sweaty palms? Give us a suggestion, what do you think? I miss her a lot when I'm not with her. You miss her when you're not with her? Aww. I can't take the piss out of that. <laughs> Two, but I can't. You really miss her. Oh, that's so adorable. And, th and 30 years together, but your palms are bone dry, other flower. <laughs> what are the signs of love? We could clearly learn a lot from 30 years together. It's very, very impressive. What do you reckon? What are the signs of love? A well, kiss before you go to bed. A kiss before you go to bed. If I, if, I get, if I get home and she hasn't changed the lock. If you get home and she hasn't changed the lock. <laughs> power balance between you two. <laughs> you just want to kiss him. He's worried he's never going to see you again. <laughs> or any of his things, or CDs, or anything. Just bye. <laughs> That's, bless you. <laughs> That's weird, but nice. Um, let's open it up to the rest of you guys. What about upstairs? What are the signs of love? Do we think we've got sweaty palms? We've got missing each other. We've got a kiss before bed. Whereabouts was the kiss? <laughs> Lips. Yes. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't. Don't. <laughs> They're making us say a top or bottom. <sighs> top, that's fine. Uh, and not being locked out. Or, well, forever, permanently. What are the signs of love upstairs, do we think? Toilet door open. <laughs> for... Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> for everything, I just number ones. <laughs> Will you just keep the conversation going? So, I mean, I said to him, I said, just give us a minute, love. I'm just going to... Oh, uh. That is... I don't, is that love? That feels... That's gross, is what that is, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Flower. Any other ones from upstairs? Signs of love? <laughs> Did you say depression? <laughs> Where are you? Give us a wave. Are you upstairs? At, up, up, right at the back there, love. Wow, you were louder than me and I've got a microphone. <laughs> are you in a relationship in the minute, Flower? <laughs> Does that mean you're happy at the minute? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds thrilled, doesn't it? Yeah. What are the ones from upstairs? Butterfly. 
Butterflies is a lovely one. That's really nice. Thank you, Flower. There was, there was a fellow the other day trying to say, but I think he was trying to say butterflies. What he actually said was, sometimes I get a fizzy feeling down below. <laughs> what about downstairs? What other signs of love do we think? Say that again. Keeping out of trouble. Keeping out of trouble. <laughs> hmm. Did you get into a lot of trouble pre-relationship, Pat? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the, oh, it was a shit relationship. <laughs> oh, are they with you tonight? <laughs> Is this the way you break up with somebody? Just wait till an appropriate question comes up at a comedy show. <laughs> been meaning to tell you for ages. It's a shit relationship. <laughs> and we had another answer over here, didn't quite catch it. Did, you, did somebody say chlamydia? <laughs> I've, I've got a present for you, love. <laughs> it's a hospital appointment. <laughs> Media. Any other ones from downstairs? Presents. What was that? Presents? <laughs> Where are you? You money grabbing whore? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know what would be great is if you liked and subscribed. I'm so needy. I'm so sorry. Uh, and why not come and see me live? And uh, the tickets are available at sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.